I'm an average player, but today, I'm gonna learn the hardest Roblox Bedwars skills in the next 10 minutes. This won't be easy, and some of these skills will help you get better at the game. Also, at 300k, I'll give away 30 kits. So yeah, consider subscribing. It's free, and it helps a ton. With Evelyn, you can teleport to players when you damage them, but can you use this to clutch? I'm pretty sure I've seen pro players do this. Since my goal is to be a top player myself, I gotta master this skill. So we're in a game, and I gotta find a way to start a fight. I think I found my target. I'm gonna lure the enemy over. It's actually not that hard to do. All you need to do is deal damage. And of course, press F to TP. The second skill is a gumdrop clutch from max height. If you didn't know, you can ambush you with a gumdrop. But the higher the clutch, the more skill it takes. And I somehow did it first try. Talk about being lucky. So the strategy is to time your click instead of stabbing your mouse. So it's safe to say, I got the skill in the bag. Bedwars released something not many people expected. Tier free break speed. With this upgrade, you're gonna one-shot wool with shears. This next skill is a combination of timing and aim. You see that gumdrop? Well, there's wool above it, which blocks the player from bouncing safely. But watch this. Now that was clean. With tier 3 break speed in the game, we can do some pretty insane plays. Next skill is winning a game without taking damage. As you can see, I'm on an alt because I'll probably get targeted on my main. So I'm using Yuzi because Yuzi is the only available mobility kit. Looks like my enemy is playing the offense. In a situation like this, you should probably go for telepearls if you want to avoid sword fights. I'm literally on one health at all times, because if I get hit once, I'm restarting. Anyways, cue the time lapse. I should probably get a crossbow, because bowing is more defensive than sword fighting. Wait, why did I buy armor if I can't take damage? So it's a 1v1v1. This game has been surprisingly peaceful, but it's time for the final fight. 23. 46, build up, shoot him again, and fall damage does the rest. The last guy's AFK, which makes this an easy win. I pretty much took zero damage, so this skill is complete. So I asked you guys for the hardest possible skills to show in this video, and one of you mentioned the fireball clutch. I'm not really sure how this works. I think you jump and throw a fireball. I probably would have died. I think I should throw the fireball lower. I mean, it only makes sense. I think I did it correctly, but to see if I truly learned this skill, let's try it one more time. I guess that worked. If you want to master this skill, face the tower and throw the fireball when you're close to the ground. No clip for a wall without using emotes. Well, that was pretty easy. If you didn't know, you can easily no clip through walls by using emotes. But how do you do it without emotes? He gave a little hint, Trinity and Dao. I think I know what to do. As you can see, I'm using the Trinity skin. So if I charge up my Dao like this and dash, I kind of went inside the block, but I didn't go through. I'm trying to no clip and this takes quite a bit of timing. A perfect no clip without using emotes. Replay the clip as much as you want to know the perfect timing. All you need is the Trinity skin and a dial from a lucky block. This is what I call a slime block clutch. Break the slime block and MLG on the target. A perfect combo of timing and reflexes. But every time I fail the clutch, I'll give a kit to someone in the comments. That's one kit. Now that was a fail. That's like what? Three kits? And finally, after many attempts, it seems like a slam block clutch from this side is possible. If you want to try to clutch, here's the map code. So my friend wanted to show me a skill he found. Basically, there's a cooldown every time you take damage. You can abuse it to negate fall damage by block clutching and quickly jumping down. A good way to conserve your blocks. To learn this skill, I built a massive training course. So if I block clutch and fall, I think I placed a block too early. The damage cooldown is extremely short, so I should block clutch lower. So with that one block, I slice my fall damage in half in only a few seconds. What will happen if you combine aim, reflexes, and timing? This is what I like to call the 360 slime block clutch fireball trick shot. A slime block clutch but on steroids. You launch yourself from the cannon, land on this 1x1 slime block, and hit a 360 fireball shot on the target. Attempt 1. I barely missed the slime block. Attempt 2. I know I hit the slime but I didn't even bounce. Attempt 3. Don't miss the slime block. And finally, the fireball shot. 
This glitch is a great way to practice all of these skills. If you want to try yourself, here's the map code. The next skill we're going to learn is gen hacking. If you think gens can only drop iron, diamond, emeralds, and lucky blocks, you're wrong. By using this command, you can make the gen spawn any item. And when I say any item, I mean it. If I type slash gen create global rage blade one inf, I get a rage blade gen. You can do this with any item. Once you memorize this command, you pretty much mastered this skill. The next skill is a 50 block tele bridge. If you don't know what tele bridging is, it's basically going in first person and spam clicking while holding space plus s. If you want a tele bridge, you will need a pretty high CPS. Personally, I use jitter clicking, where you basically jitter your finger on your mouse. And yep, I think that's enough. I've never tele bridged more than 20 blocks, but I wonder if I can do 50. The last few blocks, and we hit 50. Let's go, we did it second try. Now that is a lot of bridging. If you wanna beat that, here's the map code. Next up is the chest clutch. Now that is what you call fast reflexes, but how do I get back up? Time for some parkour training. Three single kneels, two double kneels, and one triple kneel. That is one hard jump. The triple kneel might be impossible. I think if you build up some momentum, you can jump slightly further. So I pretty much mastered the single, double, and triple neo. This skill will make a few kids salty. I'm gonna try to get 69 kills in a match. But instead of doing it myself, I got my friends to help. The plan is to have my friends drop me iron, so I can outgear everyone. I'm also using airy, so my damage goes up every kill. 68 more kills to go. <laughs> Rushing the weakest team is the strategy. Like, we're already at 34 kills. What a snipe. We're coming up on 69 kills, and we're farming the final guy. So I'm just gonna... And finally, 69 kills. It took a while. With the iron drop strategy, getting kills is easy. If we get a lot of likes, I'll go for 100 kills. So I came across a video that shows an OP travel method. I'm over here, the base is over there, and boom. I am here. It doesn't seem too hard to learn, because all you need is a DAO and a jetpack. The goal is to travel from point A to point B. That wasn't even close. What if I dash and use a jetpack at the exact same time? Never mind, I went too low. I'm gonna do the same thing, but dash in first person to go higher. Let's go, I finally did it. So all I need to do is dash in first person, and press H at the exact same time. You see that pirate ship? Well, we're gonna try to fly over there. But first, we need to find the right flying method. If I try to fly with balloons, the border will destroy them all. That leaves us with a mini-copter. If you fly outside the border, you'll take damage. But that won't be a problem, because we're sending our health to infinite. This requires a lot of coordination and patience. Hey, did you know? We're giving dirty kids a 300k. That is true. So make sure to subscribe. That is also true. And we're finally at the pirate ship. But there's a barrier. But at least we touched the ship. So this skill has been learned. There doesn't seem to be anything inside. It's not a really good ship. The next skill is learning how to consistently TNT hop. If you didn't know, you can hop on TNT if you time it right. So I built this obby to master this skill. But first, I had to develop a runner for TNT hopping. I think that's good. Time for the challenge. Let's go, I did it. By listening to this beat, you can master TNT hopping. When you launch yourself with a cannon, you can't go back if you don't have another cannon. But that's what I thought, until I got a message saying, if you launch yourself and break the cannon as soon as you launch, you can travel and take the cannon with you. To learn this skill, I'm gonna go back and forth two times with only one cannon. If you can learn this skill, you can basically travel infinitely with only one cannon. First attempt, that wasn't far enough. Second attempt, I didn't even break the cannon. Let's go, I did it. That's one. That's two. I officially went back and forth once. That's three. And that's four. So this skill has been learned. All it takes is simple timing. You can teleport on players by hitting them with a pearl. I've seen someone use this as a clutch. And of course, I had to learn the skill. So I'm falling with two balloons, and I can't get back up. But there's someone ballooning above me. So if I pearl on them, I'm closer to the surface. Let's go, that was first try. It's pretty easy if the enemy is close, but it takes a bit of luck for the enemy to be above you. Next up is the illegal bridge, where you build on air like a wizard. I'm just kidding. The 20th skill is armor skipping. You know how you need to buy leather armor to get iron armor, but apparently, if you try to buy leather armor and drop the iron, you can get iron armor without buying leather. Drag the iron, and nope, that was a fail. Drag the iron, hover it above the buy button, and double click. And now I can buy iron armor, pick up the iron, and I still have 120 like before. So I bought iron armor without having to buy leather, and that 
That is how you scan the shopkeeper. We learned a total of 20 skills in 10 minutes. But there's one more we gotta learn. And that is pressing the subscribe button. We're trying to speed run to 300k. And subscribing will help a ton. Join the Discord to enter the 30k giveaway. And check out the store. Link in the description. We got some awesome products. But for now, that's a wrap.